In my early 20s, I was someone who felt tired after 30 minutes of walking and I used to get sick quite frequently. But now that I'm in my late 20s, I have become a much stronger and active person who loves to work out, eat healthy, and take care of my body more. In this video, I want to share how I got to this point today. First thing first, stretching. I'm a firm believer that if you skip stretching and just go to straight working out, it is better to not to work out at all. So for me, stretching is essential in my fitness routine because it not only improves your performance of physical activities, but also decreases the risk of injuries during working out. I normally stretch almost every single day and when I skip doing it, I would feel that stiffness on my body and sometimes I have those neck pains too. I have my solely stretch routine which I would do before and after workout and it normally takes around 10 to 15 minutes. I got some training from several personal trainers in the past and no one ever told me the importance of stretching before working out. But I knew how important it is because I felt the difference before and after. So I started to incorporate my own personalized pre and post workout stretching routine into my daily fitness activity. Then why stretching is important? Stretching might look less important as the result is invisible compared to weight training. You may not realize it but there are a lot of daily tasks that involve quite a lot of flexibility like bending down to pick up something that is on the ground, going to sit on a chair or standing up from it. There might be some moments you feel the sensation of muscle tightness but if you stretch regularly it could improve your range of motion so you could move more and more active. There are some legit mental benefits too and one of them is relieving stress. One day I was very stressed out from work and I just went to gym because I didn't want to skip going to gym. At the time, I didn't even want to listen to music while stretching because I had a lot of in my mind. So I started to stretch without any music and focus on my body and breathe. After 10 minutes of stretching, I could feel that my mind cleared immediately and felt so much better. In terms of physical benefits, if you are a person who struggles with back pain or mild headaches from time to time, like me, stretching the neck and upper back can be beneficial for relieving pain. Secondly, eating intuitively. If you ever think about going on a diet, you might think about eating only salad and cutting all the junk food all at once. But I think that way is unsustainable as it's extreme and it might only work when you lose certain weight in limited period. Instead of restricting certain food, intuitive eating focuses more on building a healthy relationship with food which is kinder and more sustainable than bad diet. I used to be on a strict diet two years ago. I had a goal to reach under 20% of body fat. I only ate salad, chicken breast, and sweet potatoes. Weekends were cheat days for me at the times and I found myself going on a binge which I never did before because I knew that I could not eat those unhealthy food on the weekdays. I would just eat more than my normal portion when I could. So that's the time when I realized that strict diet can cause bulimia so I have to be more aware of it to not to experience it again. Speaking of energy level, when I was on the strict diet, I also wanted to increase my muscle mass but I did not have any energy to work out and weightlifting because I only ate salad so I ended up not reaching my goals for body fat and muscle mass. Now as I regularly work out, my body naturally craves healthy food but whenever I had those days craving fried chicken, I would just eat. But the one thing I care is the amount of food I consume. I try to listen for my body signals that tell me you are no longer hungry and you are full. And next one is working out. I know you may have seen a lot of workout routines on YouTube or motivational posts on Instagram. But today I'll be talking about how to make it a daily habit as I think it is more important. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I didn't work out until my mid-20s and now I go to the gym almost five times a week 
and it feels weird when I don't go. As I have truly enjoyed the process and not just the result, it has become a daily habit and I highly encourage you to find ways to make it habit rather than to become a certain type of body. To make it habit, try to make it a small goal and achieve it bit by bit every day until you feel like it is as natural as breathing and eating. One way I'd like to recommend is 5 minute rolls. Start out with 5 minute roll every day for a week to be even a little active. After 2 weeks, you will find yourself wanting to go for a walk unconsciously. After, you will likely start becoming more interested in researching workout routines on YouTube or finding a gym nearby. If you want to go to gym and feel lazy, try to spend 10 minutes there. It can be anything from as little as just stretching. I do the same when I feel unmotivated to actually work out. I will still go just for some stretching and then come back home, which would only take 10 minutes. Some people might say, what's the point? But I I think getting used to going to the gym every single day or just putting myself there and make it happy is way more important than body result. Last but not least, accepting my natural body shape. If you ever look at fit variation, you can see the ideal body type, having a slim waist and wide hips. I did not appreciate my body shape and used to think why were my hips not like that. To make my hips wider, I used to overdo it with my weight training which ended up causing me to have knee pain. I only focus on wanting my hips wider, targeting my outer thighs. It was only after a few years that I learned that the inside of my inner thighs are much weaker than outer, which is not good for balance. Because of this, instead of making my body to make certain way, I started to focus on making my body balance. So I started to work out inner thighs, arm, and even the back, which I neglected while working out so I could feel that my body got much stronger and more balanced. So this is how I got to where I am today. Fit, healthy, and happy. These tips may not work for everyone, but I hope you are able to get some ideas on how to make workout as a daily habit and how important it is. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!